Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Urban Legends video. Alright, let's go ahead and let's talk about another entry here. This one based on one of your newer suggestions, one of the newest ones in fact. And the reason I picked this one is because when I was reading all the fascinating information associated with it, I mean it just looks very, very interesting to share. In fact, there are several Urban Legends tied to this mysterious location. You know I love it when you have a very specific specific spot you can go to to experience these things and several items all in place you're gonna hear about them here in a minute the, and the fact that it has just so much mystery surrounding it it definitely made me interested in visiting this place one of these days some of you may even have out there as well and if you haven't and you have a chance to go to it it definitely seems like something that stands out and you're looking at it now very distinct look to it no it, it has a very imposing <clears throat> look to it. It's called the Untersberg Mountains. So let's go ahead and let's talk about all the fascinating information and urban legends associated with this mountain. First off, uh, the mountain itself. Let's talk about uh, where it's at and how it looks. So this is a set of mountains that's found somewhere between the border of Germany and then Salzburg, Austria. So if you go there to that location and you find it uh, specifically there, that's where you'll see this mountain. And the reason why it's also so popular is because, uh, curiously enough, interestingly enough at least, it was part of a very famous movie, The Sound of Music. There's that iconic scene whenever... Um, I forgot what that actress's name is, but whenever she's dancing around and then the camera pans past her towards the rest of the field, that's where this particular shot came from. So that in itself makes it very popular. But there's so many other urban legends and mysteries surrounding it, including some very notable people in history that have talked about this and visited it that that this is just the tiny uh, tip of the iceberg or tip of the mountain so to speak when it comes to all the stuff associated with this thing and then how it looks like yes I mean you see that little hook that that goes on the top of the mountain that's immediately what stood out to me and I'm sure to others as well it's that iconic look with that little hook as well it looks very imposing it looks like this thing is almost alive, like it's moving forward or peering forward. It just has to stretch its neck out just a little bit more. And then that way, from afar, it looks like it's just looking somewhere out towards the distance. Um, so it's so very, very interesting when I was reading this. Imagine the look, too, if, let's say, there's a uh, foggy morning or a misty morning, and then you have this thing peering across it. So you would definitely have something else in terms of, of, of how it looks as well. But yes, this mountain, how, however long it's been around, it's definitely had some good, uh, I guess, uh, history associated to it. Like so many people have come across it and so many people have wanted to stay at it because of, of the way it looks as well. Uh, for example, there's uh, Gandhi himself. Apparently he was someone that wanted to find and see this mountain. He wanted to be able to experience it in person and the reason for it is because he calls it I think it's known as the chakra if I'm not mistaken the notion that you have this thing creating some kind of energy whatever it is however it does it like there it is creating that energy and then it comes from the mountain itself so that was pretty interesting to read about it so the uh, so the Dalai Lama I'm sorry not Gandhi the Dalai Lama yes um, in 1992 decided to see this thing in fact he quoted it also as a sleeping dragon so isn't that pretty fascinating too the idea that um, that, that that you have this this very famous person in awe of this mountain itself so and then another notable person in history one of the bad ones for, uh, of course is Hitler himself he turn in turn also what's fascinated by the mountain when I was reading this in fact it almost reminded me of the first Hellboy movie when it comes to all the supernatural stuff at the beginning of the film that showcased um, um, Hitler's crew trying to obtain he in turn was someone that was obsessed with the mountain too he heard about the supernatural powers that this thing apparently had and so he wanted to make sure that he could harness it in some way in some fashion for his war in fact 
fact, he actually built a house right there on top of the mountain, specifically towards the side facing the border towards Austria. He named it the Berghof. You're looking at a picture of it here. And he would stay at this mountain to see if, they, if anything could be accomplished from its location. Maybe something supernatural, maybe something paranormal, who knows, something elemental, whatever was the case. He would have a lot of his meetings here to make certain that he could, I guess, use the power to help him and to help his war. That's how fascinated he was of this mountain as well. And then as far as other urban legends tied to this thing, let's go to the actual mountain underneath it. There's apparently, there's this gigantic Gigantic just cave system that's found right underneath that mountain. So if you thought the outside was pretty imposing, just wait until you see the inside. This thing apparently goes on forever. If you go there to the caves and you start wandering around, you better not get lost because apparently there has not been any lowest final point found within the mountain. There was an expedition just as late as August of 2008. That's the most recent one where people tried to go as far down as they could. In fact, they went over a thousand meters down below into to the mountain even going across new caves new pathways that hadn't been found before and as they did so they still didn't find the end of, of, of these caverns. In fact, they even crossed some uh, lakes and they found one close to a thousand uh, meters below an actual lake right there that they were able to cross. It's only because of the fact that they couldn't find the end of it that they had to come out um, because they wanted to make sure, of course, that they didn't get lost. In fact, a th over a thousand meters, if you want a perspective, that's over a kilometer below the earth. That's how far they went and they probably still didn't find um, uh, the, the actual end of it. It reminded me of, of that wonderful uh, movie, The Lord of the Rings, uh, whenever uh, Gandalf was fighting that giant dragon and there was those very, very nice scenes whenever they were going far down below the mountain who knows how far and then they finally went to the bottom lake and who knows what else was down there even below that so imagine something like this who knows what's within the mountain somewhere dwelling at the very very bottom to this day and then other urban legends have to do with missing people missing portals or something there that's happening to the people where they go they visit the location, either it attracts them or they become fascinated by it, you know, just on their own. Either way, though, they go there and then, bam, they suddenly go missing and then they show up later on some of them show up years later at a different place who knows where having no idea how it happened uh, some people state that and um, in fact there was a story of three women who went there who disappeared and then they were found three months later apparently heading towards a ship towards Egypt and they had no idea how that happened where the time went where the three months went or let alone how they ended up traveling to Egypt but then there they were and then other people as well have 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 disappeared outright altogether like never ever to be found again so whatever is in this thing whatever is in this mountain is it a portal is it some other type of, of dimension who knows but it's apparently causing people to experience that strange phenomenon. And then another urban legend tied to this thing has to do with these so-called little people. There's apparently a race of people that live, if they do, they live in the mountain because apparently they come out of the mountain itself. And when they do so, people spot them, but they're very, very hard to uh, to get a hold of let alone you know take pictures take video anything like that because these things these little people are very uh, attuned to make sure that they do not get caught or they do not get found and that ties in to the idea that there's also UFO reports that come from that location are these little people in turn let's say the gray aliens the more standard gray aliens that you and I know of it could be and could it be tied to the missing time as well you have heard of those stories of course whenever there's alien abductions where people go so who knows where and then they come 
come back having no idea exactly how that happened. Well, here, that could tie into this with the mountain and that thing I was mentioning earlier where people disappear only to be found months later unaware of how it happened. Could it be from these little people themselves, these gray aliens, if they truly are them? That's another possibility. But yes, indeed, that's just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the urban legends tied to this thing, let, let alone there's other stories apparently of elves, fairies, uh, gnomes as well, uh, extra, you know, holy, just religious stuff that apparently happens there too. It's crazy, like this location. It definitely makes me want to go see it one of these days, make it like a bucket list as well. So that's it. If anyone has any more info, anything else might have missed please post those comments below anybody been there before to these famous mountains to these untersberg mountains if so what was your experiences like did you did you feel anything did you sense anything see anything by any chance if so please share it with everyone that'd be really great to hear too so all right everybody thanks again as always take care bye